G'day guys, Lady Pros here from fstoplounge.com. Today I just wanted to share with you a couple of little things that I've found on my Fujifilm XA1 that you may find helpful when it comes to photographing with your X-Series interchangeable lens camera. So, firstly, you know, I'm outdoors, it's bright. I've had a couple of photographers come and tell me like, Lee, it takes a great photo, I love it, but I can't see it in the, in the sun, I can't see the screen, it's just too reflective. I'm like, did you turn on sunlight mode? And they're like, what? Yeah, read your manual, uh, or just watch this. You go into your menu, it's basically your setup menu, and you scroll down to your setup tab, and in within the monitor settings, you'll find there's a sunlight mode, which you can turn on, and that will make a hell of a difference to actually viewing your images outside. So make sure that's turned on. Secondly, the function button. Everyone knows what that does. The function buttons, one of those things is a default, it's ISO. Um, I prefer to, to access that through the quick menu sometimes, but if I'm doing portraiture, one great tool is this function button because you can actually assign your aperture depth of field preview or your whatever they call it in here um, to this button. So, you know, I've come from Canon and Nikon where you've got the button on the front. When you look through the viewfinder, it stops down so you can see the person in focus and how much the background's blurred and see your actual depth of field live before you actually take the photo. This ideally is doing the same thing, but you're using the button at the top. Now the XE2 actually has two buttons, so you can have ISO and this assigned, so that's kind of cool. Now, lastly, the thing that I love about this camera the most is, for me, I'm half blind, I wear glasses all the time, and uh, manual focusing has always been a no-go area for me because I just can't see when it's in focus. But Fujifilm have come to the party, um, especially come to the party, I should say, now on the, the X100 has it. They've added the new focus peaking highlight mode, and a lot of X100 users are jumping for joy because, you know, a two-year-old camera has just had an update, and a, a massive update on, on firmware, and it's bought this new feature, which is very exciting. So what it is, essentially, is an, it's a tool to assist you in focusing when you're in manual focus mode. That was a mouthful. Um, all you need to do is select your manual focus mode. Let me just turn off macro. Go into your quick menu, and at the top here, the second one in on the XA1, you simply scroll to MF, which is manual focus, and just hit the shutter button to go back. And now you can actually manually focus, but it's actually quite hard to see uh, at this sort of range. So focus peaking highlight, will you can turn on, and it will really assist you. So you hold this button down, and it should go to standard, hold it down again, and you'll see focus peak highlight. And what it essentially does, it adds a black and white line around every object. So at the point of its highest, sharpest point of focus, these little lines actually peak. So it's almost like they're jumping out of the screen at you. So you can see exactly when the subject's in focus. Now I'm not sure if you can see it here, but um, I can't really focus in on that small square. So if I actually press this scroll wheel in, it magnifies the view. So I can actually get a, a really, easy way of seeing it um, and manually focus using my lens at the front here and as soon as I put that in focus you'll see it actually peaks there's these wavy white and black lines around every object so now it's telling me that it's in focus all I need to do is just press the shutter button and take my photo and I know now that that image is sharp I don't have to worry about wearing glasses and packing them and packing a lens cloth because I've got a sharp image so there are three great little tips that I've found on my X-Series that hopefully you, you've learned as well and you can pass on to other X-Series photographers because essentially we all want to become better photographers. If you like this video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. I want to see you subscribe as well for more videos and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.